I've heard stories of kings and kingdoms, heard about the royalty, queens and diamonds they've got, one thing in common they fall, cause their crown is borrowed from you, you Lord reign forever and ever and ever. Child of the King of Kings, yet yeah, that's who I am. No one can take that away from me now. Cause I got you, Jesus. You, you Lord, reign forever.
forever and ever and ever. My Bible tells me so. And I believe it. You, you Lord, reign forever. Hey everyone, I'm Christy, and today we're talking about dealing with conflict. Have you ever been in a fight with someone? I'm not talking about hitting somebody, but maybe like yelling at someone. I have. When I was younger, I was a know-it-all, and I would get in arguments with my mom. We would have conflict. I also would fight with my brother and my sisters a lot too. I kind of bossed them around. Family is so important, but they're also the people we tend to have conflict with the most. Maybe it's because they are so important. I never had a good time when I would argue with my siblings or my parents. I don't like conflict. Do you guys like conflict? Sometimes when we have conflict, it can cause our relationships with others to not be as strong. If we're just fighting all the time, it can cause more conflict. So today we're learning good relationships start with me. Say that with me. Good relationships start with me. We have the ability to make good relationships or relationships that don't fight a lot. You know, Bluey and Stewie are brothers. I wonder if they have ever had conflict with each other. I can not believe you did that, Stewie. Well, well Bluey, maybe if you hadn't left your toys laying around on the floor like that, I wouldn't have put them away for you. Those were my favorite toys. If they were your favorite, why were they laying on the ground? Well, you see, brother, they were on the ground because they were the important ones. They were the ones that I was playing with. The ones I put away, I don't really want to play with. It all makes total sense. I have a system, Stewie. No, no. I have a system. Brother, it doesn't make sense. Okay, it really doesn't. You should take care of them and put all of them away. All of them. Not leave them around so others can step on them with her and hurt the big fuzzy feet. Brother. Brother. What? What is it? This is this is silly. It is? Yeah, we're fighting because you put my toys away and I left them on the floor. Wow, when you put it like that, I can see that it's silly. It's, it's like that time that we, we, we fought about who got to eat the last gummy worm. Or the time we fought about who had the best handwriting. Yeah, and both of, both of the letters were written by you, so the writing was the same. Ah, sorry, I laughed too hard. All right, listen, brother. I won't put your toys away for you again, but could you please not leave them in the middle of the floor for me to hurt my foot on again? All right, fine, I can do that. I don't, I don't want to fight with you. Yeah, you know, I don't either. I want to have a good relationship with you. What should we fight about next time? Maybe we can fight about a bright shirt. Hmm, sounds colorful. Hey kids, we're talking about having good relationships. Good relationships start with me. Hey, say that with me. Good relationships start with me. All right, raise your hand if you have any siblings. If you don't, maybe you have a really good friend who, who could be like a sibling. Well, have you guys ever gotten in a fight about something? I know me and my siblings have gotten in fights over some things that were kind of silly. Like, who could eat the last gummy worm? But sometimes, we fought over big things. I always had to remember that I could change the situation and have a good attitude, but I didn't always do that. Hey, tell someone next to you a time you had a fight over something that was really silly.
So we fight and argue sometimes, especially with our family. Maybe it's because of how important they are. Well, today we're going to look at someone who got in a fight with his 11 brothers. That is a lot of brothers. His name was Joseph, and his story was crazy, and it's all true. His story can be found in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Joseph was so loved by his father. His dad made him an amazing colorful coat. His brothers were so mad about it. They knew that Joseph was their dad's favorite son. Well, later, Joseph had two dreams. And in his dreams, he sees stalks of wheat and then stars and another one bowing down to him. And Joseph goes off and tells his brothers about the dreams. And he says, you are going to bow to me. Would that make you mad if your family did that? Well, his brothers were mad at him. And we're going to pick up our story in Genesis 37, verse 18 through 28. It says this, when Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. As he approached, they made plans to kill him. Here comes that dreamer, they said. Come on, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. But when Reuben heard of their scheme, he came to Joseph's rescue. Let's not kill him, he said. Why should we shed any blood? Let's just throw him into the empty cistern here in the wilderness. Then he'll die without our laying a hand on him. Reuben was secretly planning to rescue Joseph and return him to his father. But they were so upset with him, they were willing to do something terrible to their brother. But Reuben, he wanted to secretly save him. So when Joseph arrived, his brothers ripped off the beautiful robe that he was wearing. Then they grabbed him and threw him into the empty cistern. Now the cistern was empty. There was no water in it at all. Then, just as they were sitting down to eat, they looked up and saw a caravan of camels coming in the distance toward them. It was a group of Ishmaelite traders taking a load of gum, balm, and aromic resin from Gilead down to Egypt. These men with the camels were traveling to Egypt to sell goods. What do you think they were going to do with Joseph? Make a prediction. Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain by killing our brother? We'd have to cover up the crime. Instead of hurting him, let's sell him to the Ishmaelite traders. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. And his, all the other brothers agreed. So when the Ishmaelites, who were Midianite traders, came by, Joseph's brothers pulled him out of the cistern and sold him to them for 20 pieces of silver. And the traders took him to Egypt. They sold their brother. That's insane. Then they took Joseph's coat, covered in animal blood, and gave it to their dad. They told him that an animal had killed Joseph, but we know that's not true. Now, I don't think Joseph had a really good relationship with his brothers. It, remember, good relationships start with me. Say that with me. Good relationships start with me. We have to be kind to others. We want to make sure that we're making a difference in the people around us, especially our siblings. Joseph wasn't making a difference in his brother's lives by kind of bragging about his dreams. And his brothers were not making a difference in Joseph's life by selling him away. We want to make a difference in the people around us. Not a point. Because good relationships start with me. Say that with me. Good relationships start with me. Good relationships start with me. Joseph in our story had conflict with his brothers. His brothers were mad at him because of the way he was telling him about the dreams he had. It's important for us to spend time with people and make good relationships. We have to be kind to others and love others. When we're followers of Jesus, we have to follow his example. Maybe you haven't started your friendship with God yet and you wanna show his love to others. You can do that right now. It's as easy as ABC. A, admit. Admit what you've done wrong and tell God you don't wanna sin anymore. B, believe. Believe that God sent Jesus down to earth to take the punishment for your sin. C, commit. Commit that you want to make Jesus the leader of your life. If you wanna make Jesus the leader of your life, you can pray with me right now, but let's all pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for loving us and showing us how to treat each other with kindness. Help us to not have conflict with others and help us to show your love to them. I want to make you the leader of my life and that you died on the cross for my sins. I, and that you forgive me. I want to make you the leader of my life. Amen. See you next week, kids. <laughs>